Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will learn how to delete the node from the SQLite database. This is part 4 of Node Chef. So in part 1, part 2 and part 3, we have stored, retrieve and update the nodes using SQLite database. So if you have not watched it yet, you can click on the i button to watch. Let me give you a quick recap what exactly we created in the last video. See, the nodes are displayed here. And also, we can update the node using edit option. Let me show you. And then, but there is no delete option, right? Because we have not yet implemented it. And that's what we are going to do in this video. Now open the project. Previously, to store, retrieve and update the nodes, we have created node data class. Nodes adapter, Nodes database helper, Add node activity, Main activity, and Update node activity. And now in this video, we will create a delete node function, and that's it. So let's create it. For the prerequisite, we need a delete icon. So let me quickly add it. And then, then we want the icon to be placed on each node in the recycler view, right? So to do that, go to noteitem.xml. Here we already have title, content and edit button. And now, beside edit button, we will create a delete button using image view. So let me quickly create it. And then, see, I have created an image view whose ID is delete button with delete icon. And that's it. Then go to Nodes Database Helper. Here we will create a delete node function. So write function delete node. Then pass the parameter as node id int. Then inside it write well db is equal to as we are deleting the node means the database is getting modified, right? So I'll write here as writable database. Then write, well, where clause is equal to column ID is equal to question mark. So basically, where clause specify the condition for deletion. Like it delete the row where the value in column ID matches with the note ID parameter. Then write well where arguments is equal to array of note ID dot to string. So where arguments array is used to provide values that will replace the placeholder in the where clause. Here the value is note ID parameter. See, in very simple language, the question mark that is present in where clause condition will be replaced by the where arg note id. And if column id matches with the note id given by where arguments, then delete the note. So next, I'll write db dot delete method that consists of table name, where clause and where argument. So basically, delete method is used to delete rows from a table, like it will go into the table, then based on its condition, it will delete the specific note ID from the column ID, which ultimately going to delete title and content as well. Then lastly, close the database connection. And that's it. Simple, right? So delete node function is ready. And now we will set it on delete button. So for that, go to nodes adapter. Here, as we have to access delete node function from nodes database helper, hence let me quickly declare and initialize nodes database helper. Then 
and done. Next, I need to declare an initialize delete button which we created as an image view in note item, right? So let me quickly write it. And done. Then inside the onbind view holder, I'll write holder dot delete button dot set on click listener and inside it I'll call delete node function. So for that I'll write db dot delete node and then inside it I'll specify node dot id because based on the id we are going to delete the entire row, right? Next the node is deleted and now we need to refresh the data or reload the data and get the fresh list of nodes. So to do that we have already created a function for it as refresh data right. We have used refresh data function previously in read data. So when the new node is inserted successfully then the list will refresh itself to provide a fresh set of nodes. And similarly over here once the node is deleted then the list will refresh itself and reload a new set of nodes. Got it? So I'll write refresh data and inside it db dot get all nodes and then finally throw a toast as nodes deleted and that's it we are done with the coding See how quick it was? Now let's run the app. This is how it looks. Perfect. So I'll click on delete option. And see the node is successfully deleted. Great right? And with that said our fully functional nodes app is ready. Let me give you a quick summary. So we have created separate activity for each CRUD functionality except delete. Plus with the help of SQLite Open Helper or Nodes Database Helper, we have created all the functions and queries inside it and access all of them in their respective activity. Then with the help of SQLite Database Browser Software, we were able to view stored data in the database. And next, with the help of Recycler View and Adapter, we were able to display the nodes. And then with the help of get node by ID function, we were able to update the node based on their ID. And then lastly, with the help of delete function, we were able to delete the node. And that's it. Alright, so from September, we'll be starting our Android Kotlin Advanced series, where I will cover topics like API, MVVM, Retrofit, Coroutines, Room Database and many more. So stay tuned for that. And also for more updates, you can follow us on Instagram or join our Telegram group. Link in the description box. So yeah, that is it for the video. If you are new to this channel, then please consider subscribing to my channel. And I'll see you in the next video.